Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we're going to be making this cute card. So cute, so cute. All right, I got this card as a swap that I participated in, um, or one like this, and I just stepped mine up a little bit. Um, so we're going to make this card. All right. Our pieces here. You're going to need a piece of rich razzleberry that is 11 by four and a quarter, and then that's going to be scored at five and a half. I'll bring my simply scored in here, and that gets scored at five and a half. My bone folder here, make sure to give it a good crease so it will lay fat. All right, I'll set that aside. You're going to need a piece of Whisper White that is three and a quarter by five. And I'm using the stamp set Creep It Real. We're using a lot of, of the little stamps that are in here. Well, I'm using a lot of all of the stamps that are in here. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black. All right. And I'm going to be using my colored pencils to color this in. And I didn't think that you would want to watch me do that. So after I get done stamping all of these, I'm going to color a couple for you. And then I've gotten one. I prepared another one. So you don't have to sit here and watch me color them. But I want to show you, I used a blender pen. You don't really have to do anything in the middle because that's going to be um, covered up with the sentiment. do our little Frank here. <clears throat> All right, and then I'm going to do my skeleton. Change a couple blocks here. Mm. All right, now we're going to need a couple of the candy corn. wiped off so I don't get my hands in them. Always want to try and have an uneven number if possible. All right. So we're done with this part. And I brought in my watercolor pencils and my blender pen. And I am using Daffodil Delight pumpkin pie, basic gray, rich raspberry, and old olive. Um, and for the little skeleton, I just 
colored a little bit over here on one side and then I brought in my blender pen I just I didn't want them to be stark white so I just gave him a little bit of a shadow when you're done with your blender pen between colors you want to make sure you kind of wipe it off um, so all I did was I colored in each one of the little characters so I would color Frankenstein in green also and I did his little knobs on the side of his head uh, in basic gray I did the pumpkin in yellow candy corn of course yellow and orange I did the witch's hat in rich razzleberry. And then I brought in my blender pen and I just went over them. And it just kind of smooths out the strokes from the color pencil and then I, I just wipe that off and then we can go in and do the other color all right so you get the idea and make sure you wipe that off I have one done so you didn't have to sit here and watch me do it the whole time all right then we're going to get a piece of basic black. Well, first let's get let's get my other stamping done first, I guess. All right. So we're going to need a piece of pumpkin pie that is about 4 by 3. We're going to take the Creep It Real from this set here and use this big block here looks like I got a glue dot on there put that on there and again we are using the memento good I did use my um, my stamp holic for the other one I didn't get a good image but we'll see what happens I may go back to it on the other side we'll see what happens not too bad I can live with that. All right, so we will. I'm going to need to swipe this off real quick. All right, now I'm going to bring in my big shot. You're going to need another sheet of basic black that is, again, four by three. And I have two framelits from the layering ovals. And so you're going to cut this one out with the plain one and then this one out with the scallop. So we will layer this one. Let's see if I can get them both on the same time here. this one and our other plate sorry for the shaking all right so there we 
go. So these can be layered together. Let's see, I'll just take some fast fuse. together. I do see one little spot right here that I don't like. So I'm just going to take my basic black marker here and just color that in. That makes it all better. All right. Then I'm going to take my sheet back and the color, the one that I colored, I'm going to be using this striped black and white ribbon, which is wonderful. It has a uh, wire in it, so you could make great bows with this. Um, let's get my scissors here. Just take off enough to wrap it around the card. Gonna put a little bit of fast fuse at the end of each ribbon. Oh. There we go. So that's just gonna go right around the middle. Just like that. Then we will take this and I'm going to use dimensionals and I'm going to put those up at the top so that it hits the paper and not the ribbon. And that's going to go right in the middle here. So you can see why we didn't need to really color anything in the middle because it wouldn't have showed anyway. This piece of basic black is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So we will attach this one to the piece of basic black. I want to make sure my ribbon stays down, so I'm going to put some adhesive on that. And that's going to go right in the middle here. Right like that. And then this is going to go right on the front, just using some fast fuse. Now I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White and I'm going to stamp another skeleton. And another Frank. So I'll get my memento again. This is like suction cupping it to the lid. I can't get it out for some reason. All right, so it doesn't matter where because we're going to use a punch and punch these out. All right, so I'm going to get back my gray marker and my old olive, not marker, pencil, and I'm just going to give it a little shading around here again. And then we'll use our olive green with our 
little Frank here. And then we'll use the basic gray on his little side things, whatever they're called. And we'll give this a little, little bit of shading here. And then right here, clean that off. And then smooth out our Frank. Okay. I will take the one inch punch for our little Frankenstein. And our three quarter for our little skeleton. The little skeleton is gonna go on a dimensional on the front of our card. Right here and then I'm also going to put a couple of the smallest black pearls for his eyes right there all right, and then for the inside, I have a piece of Whisper White again that is four by five and a quarter. We are going to take the Trick or Treat from the same stamp set. And I guess I don't need that great big one after all. here and our same ink <clears throat> excuse me make sure that's good and inked up and Make sure it's the right way, although it wouldn't matter because we can turn the paper around. All right, good. Now, I'm going to take the Rich Razzleberry, the pumpkin pie, and what was the other color I used? The Daffodil Delight, and I'm just going to color in these little candies here. just to give it a little color on the inside. And we'll bring in our blender pen again, just to smooth them out. And I'm not making these very dark, but you can make them as dark as you wanted to. You could color on there harder and make it darker. All right, so I'm gonna take Frank and my fast fuse again. And he's just gonna go right here. Turn this over. This will go on the inside of our card. And there you have it. So this is the one we just did and this is the one that I did earlier. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.